In this video, we're going to divide two digit numbers by one digit numbers. Here is a number sentence, 75 divided by 5. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. So how many fives go into seven? Five goes into seven once, with two left over. I can cross out the seven now to keep track of what I've done. Notice how the last digit has now become the number 25 instead of five. So now we can work out how many fives go into 25. Five goes into 25 five times. So the answer is 15. Let's have a recap on the key vocabulary used. We have the dividend, which is the number that's being divided. Then we have the divisor, which is the number that we're dividing it by. And when we divide one number by another, the answer is called the quotient. Let's have a look at another example. 68 divided by 4. First we need to draw our bus stop. We put the dividend inside the bus stop. And we put the divisor next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. So how many 4s go into 6? 4 goes into 6 once, with 2 left over. So now we can work out how many 4s go into 28. 4 goes into 28 7 times. So the answer is 17. Let's have a look at one more example. 75 divided by 3. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the dividend inside the bus stop and we put the divisor next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. If you have a pen and paper to hand, pause the video and have a go at working out the answer. Write your answer in the comment section below. So how many threes go into seven? 3 goes into 7 twice, with 1 left over. So now we can work out how many 3s go into 15. 3 goes into 15 5 times. So the answer is 25. 